here we have the materials the wi-fi dongle the raspberry pi power supply cord keyboard and a phone once you've connected them into the correct sockets we need to power on the raspberry pi i am just going to plug this on into the desktop that i have you can put it into an adapter if you want and we can see that the red light is on the power is on let's just wait for the raspberry pi to boot up keep in mind i have set the pi to boot into command line mode with the user logged in so that can be set using raspi minus config okay the green lights there it's logged it's logged in it's running now let's set up our screen which is the phone so first off we need to make sure that the raspberry pi and the phone are connected to the same network for that uh, what we're going to do is set up a hotspot on the phone itself. Now we switch it on and we just wait for the Raspberry Pi to connect. Note that this needs to be done beforehand. So you will need at least one instance where you can see the screen. That's the Pi, that's the IP address. And we just open up juice ssh as you can see pi, my pi is quite frequently used just to verify we are going to see if the ip address is still the same yep it's still the same ok so uh, just connect to it and i like my screen sideways in landscape mode so that's it ok as you can see that it's logged into the pi uh, machine now what we need to do is start tmux tmux enter this can be done before connecting to the uh, con before switching on the phone and sshing and ok so that started a tmux session now we need to attach it here so tmux space a and enter that is all we need to do here as you can see the screen changed a little that's because it's now attached to a tmux session this is the way i have my tmux configured there's an ip address at the bottom so now whatever we type onto the keyboard appears on the screen itself now pretty nifty That's basically it. The way I like to set it up usually is that uh, now note that the Raspberry Pi cannot use its Wi-Fi now. So how I used to uh, set it up is that uh, I connect the phone to the Raspberry Pi in USB tethering mode and then uh, use that network setup to uh, SSH into the Pi. That way the Pi can still use the internet through the phone and there's no uh, essentially no there's nothing which cannot be done okay so here's sudo power off we see that we typed it in there as soon we do that the session will die so power off enter and that's it within a few seconds the session there juice says juice says that uh, connection failed so the connection's gone and that's it